Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. I cover everything here on my channel, all the way from drugstore to luxury makeup. So if that is something you think you'd be interested in, definitely make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. Also hit the bell notification beside it if you want to stay up to date with my videos because you guys know I'm not the most frequent uploader. I tell you that in every video, but I am improving. Also, if you like any of my content, definitely make sure to hit that like button. It really does help my channel out and I would really appreciate it. But yeah, guys, without saying any more, we're going to get into some products. I'm just going to show you some products actually that Burt's Bees sent over to me. I was really excited. They reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to try a few products. Um, yeah, and I was like super stoked. I'm like, of course, I like a lot of Burt's Bees stuff. So, and I've done videos on some of their products before. I'll actually link up in the eye the last video I did. I tried out like the skin tint and a couple other products. So if you want to see that one, definitely check it out. But we're just going to go through and swatch some of the products and show you some of the things they sent over. But if you guys are interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so they sent over this like box and it has on here Beyond the Bomb with Burt's Bees. It's a cute little box that they sent over. It did come with a card, so the main product that they asked me about sending over was the Squeezy Tinted Bombs. They sent me four of them, which I was really stoked about. I tend to like Burt's Bees lip products. I think they're usually really nice. Um, so I was excited to give these guys a go. Um, so there are a total of four different um, shades and kind of scents that they sent over. I just hit myself in the face. That's okay. Uh, they sent over, there's Mandarin, Granada, Watermelon Rush, Berry, Sorbet, and Sweet Peach, which is this light one over here. Um, it's supposed to leave a sheer tint with a healthy looking shine. It's made with responsibly sourced conditioning beeswax and hydrating cocoa butter, no parabens, phthalates, SLS, and petroleums. Or petroli, petrolatum. I'm not sure how to say that, but I'm not good with ingredients. Um, but yeah, they've also included um, some other products in here. They sent over a new cream blush. I picked out the shade Strawberry Creams. I have tried some of these products, so I can give you some of my thoughts. Um, and then they also sent over one of their cream shadows, and I picked the shade Rose Cream. It comes in like a similar packaging. And then I haven't tried this product. They sent over the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Miracle Balm with plant-derived squalane. Oh, okay. So that sounds really nice. So it's supposed to be a miracle beauty balm for dry skin from head to toe. Oh, so you can use it on all of your body. So they sent that over. They sent over this... Um, Classic Black Instantly Volumizing Mascara, All a Flutter. I've had this before, I think. Um, yeah, and then they sent over the four lip products. So these are all of the lippies that they sent over. So yeah, that's the things that they sent over to me. And then they did send a booklet with some of their like new products and like info on the products, which is kind of cool. So. I always like that. I'm, I've gotten stuff from them before and they have sent info over, which I really do appreciate. Uh, but yeah, let's go through and just kind of look at some of the products. I'll swatch some stuff out for you and tell you my thoughts. All right, so the first products I'm going to talk about are the squeezy tinted lip balms. So this is what the product looks like right there. That's the tube. And this one here is the shade Watermelon Rush. It's kind of like a red tone shade. They also sent over the shade Sweet Peach, which is like my favorite shade. So, so pretty, just a nice neutral shade. They sent over the Mandarin Granada. So it's the more red toned one. And then they did send over the Berry Zorbit, which I also really like this one. It's kind of more of a nude shade. Okay, so these you get 0.43 ounces of product or 12.1 grams of product. All of the ingredients from this are supposed to be from nature. So it's supposed to be crafted with ingredients from nature to nourish and revitalize the skin. Everything is supposed to be responsibly sourced. Um, no animal testing and all of the packaging is recyclable. So if that is something that is important to you, I'm not so much on that train, but if you are, good things to know. I really do like that still about the brand, even though I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily into the whole green movement. So the clean beauty movement. Um, personally, I think it's kind of, I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying this or some people are going to get mad, but personally, I think it's kind of like 
the greenwashing of the makeup community. I've heard Angelica Nekfis say that as well and it kind of is. But still, if that is important to you, that is something to know and I wanted to make mention of that. But yeah, we'll do a few swatches of these on my hand. The first one I'm gonna do is Sweet Peach. I actually have worn this one a few times. Um, it just squeezes out of the tube, kind of like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. I probably put even like too much there. So that's that shade. So if you swatch it out, it's less tinted, but that's what it looks like with a thicker kind of swatch. And then the next shade I'm gonna swatch is Berry Zorbit. So this one right here. I'll try to get a thicker swatch of that one so you can see it too. So that's that shade right there. That one's Berry Zorbit. Really, really pretty. I do wear this one on occasion too. And I'm just going in order from like, I guess these two are kind of similar. Like I'm gonna go with this one now. Um, this one is the shade Watermelon Rush. Not similar, but I like the same as far as like darkness. So these ones I haven't used yet, so I'm gonna take the, they have like a little seal on them. Can I, ooh, okay, I got way too much. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I got way too much, okay, that's okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it, okay. So that is that shade right there. That's the shade Watermelon Rush. Pretty, pretty red shade. I would definitely need to try that one. So much of that on my finger. I'm glad you didn't see that because it was such a waste of product, but it kind of just like, poofed out. Hopefully I don't get that in my hair. It smells so good. Ooh, these all smell like really good. Like they actually kind of smell like the names of them. Ooh, -hoo, I like that. I like that. I didn't notice that. I noticed it in Sweet Peach, but I thought they were all going to have a similar scent. So let's do, ooh, this one's a little bit, hold on. We're going to shake that one up. Okay. So this one was a little bit oily. Can you see that? A little bit oily. I don't know, it's just that shade. So that is that shade there, the Mandarin one. It is quite oily though, just to note, but it must be just need to be shaken up. So that's all of the four um, squeezy tinted lip balms swatched out on my hand. I have used the shades, like I said, Berry Zorbit and um, Sweet Peach. I really like Sweet Peach just cause like, it's like your typical nude, but they're all really, really pretty and I like them overall. I don't think they're the most long lasting product, but they are moisturizing on the lips. They feel really good. They fill kind of the lines in your lips nicely so it makes them look like juicy. It doesn't get clumpy, which I like. It has a nice scent to it. The actual like scents correspond with what's on the packaging, which is really nice. I like scented products personally, so I like that about these. I like that they have a nice amount of tint but it's, it definitely does sheer out once you blend it out on your lips, but there's still a visible tint there, which I like. If you're gonna have different kind of um, shades in a product, I like it when it actually, you can see the difference in the shades. So that's a plus. The only thing that I think is kind of a downfall is the lasting power. I think if you are someone like me who's wearing a mask on and off at work, they are moisturizing, but they do transfer a lot. And if you have product under these, it's gonna transfer as well and kind of move around. So I tend to like these more at home when I'm not really wearing a mask and just kind of throw, need to throw something on. I like these. I think in the summertime, I'll really enjoy these as well. Just like if you wanna to go to the beach and throw on a lip product that's moisturizing, these would be really great. Okay, so the next product I was really, really excited about, and I picked the shade 1275 Strawberry Cream. So this is their new cream blushes. This is what the actual packaging looks like. It has the shade on the top and it comes in a little jar. Now you get point 25 ounces of product or 7.08 grams, which is not that bad at all for a cream blush. It's not like a ton, but you don't need a lot in a cream blush. So that's the top packaging. It has like the kind of honeycombs like Burt's Bees does. You open it up. And then that is the shade Strawberry Cream. It's kind of almost like a deeper pinky mauve tone. Really, really pretty. It has a nice texture to it. It's creamy, but almost like not too creamy, if that makes sense. And it is a shade that you can really build up. These are nice if you don't want a wabam right in your face right away. Like you really can build these up to look really pretty and be poppy, but you can also make them more subtle. 
but that's the shade that I chose and that is strawberry cream. All right, so I zoomed you in a bit. I'm actually gonna go in with my e.l.f. Um, complexion Duo brush and I'm gonna dive into this a little and just put a little, a little bit of my blushes still on from today, but you'll still be able to kind of see it on my cheeks. So I'm just gonna go like this in the blush and you can really work this in because like I said, it is buildable. So I have that much on my brush. Okay, so I'm back in focus. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop some right here. And this applies so nice. Like it almost applies like it's a cream, but it almost seems like once you get it on your skin, it almost turns into like a velvety like powder, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's it's a different definitely formula. Like it definitely doesn't like, it's not like too um, emollient, if that makes sense. And it does go over powder quite well. Like I never have an issue with it over powder. Like it's going over powder right now. And it has a really, really pretty shade to it. I really like this color. I would like to try the other ones because I do think the formula is actually quite nice. Like you can see that. And this is going over top of makeup that's been on like all day long. I think it looks really, really pretty. I find this has decent lasting power as well on me. Under a mask, it does rub off a bit, but nothing too crazy. So overall, I actually really like this product. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna talk about, this is in the same kind of packaging. This is the Color Nurture Cream Eyeshadow. So this is what this looks like, same kind of packaging as the cream blush, and this is the shade Rose Cream, and it's 1540, and there's a couple different shades available. I just picked the shade. So I'll pull this out of its packaging, I'll give you an idea. So again, the same kind of packaging. That's the shade in the pot, do take this off. Okay, so that's the shade Rose Cream. So this is quite, I'm not gonna, I guess I'm giving you the finger, it's okay, just pretend I'm not. So this is quite emollient, you can see, that's the shade there, it looks like really pretty. We're just gonna swatch it. Okay, so that's the shade. So you can see this is pretty, like, light. And one thing I wanna show you, let me just go in here. If you really, like, start to blend this out too much, you really start to not see it all that much, which I'm not crazy about. I do think this is pretty. I wore it one day, it lasted decently. I do think if you have oily eyelids though, this is gonna crease like a mofo. Um, I have more dry eyelids, so I don't have as much problem, but I did notice after a long period of wear, this did make whatever I put on top of this kind of crease, because I usually like to actually put something on top of this just because it is a little bit more sheer. Now I will say you can build it up. You can see that there. You can definitely build it up and it is pretty for just like a quick one and done look on the eyes. I will use the product for sure. It's just not like my favorite cream shadow formula. I personally like something a bit more like intense and something that's a little less emollient because I do find when you get something that emollient, it can tend to crease up a little bit. So. Just keep that in mind, but it is pretty. I know my friend Jasmine got a different shade and she kind of said the same thing. She felt like it blended really into her skin. So I'm not sure on the other shades, but this one's pretty. I just don't think it's like the best thing I've tried, but I mean, I'm still happy to have it. Okay, so a product I have not tried is the Miracle Balm with Plant Derived Squalene. Okay, so this is supposed to be something like a balm that you can use from head to toe. Okay, so I guess it's just supposed to be for helping with dry skin. I probably would use this more as a lip, like a healing lip balm. Yeah, there's no like, I don't really, I keep smelling it, hoping I smell something, but I don't really smell anything. I was expecting like a scent. Um, you do get 0. 0.6 ounces or 17 grams of this. So this is what it looks like. And this is the packaging, it's just like a little tin packaging. Ooh, it feels like really nice. Look at that. It feels really nice. Okay. I'm just gonna put some on my lips. Mm, I can definitely see how this could be moisturizing or even if you had like dry patches, not so much on your face, but I think on like my, I sometimes get dry patches on my elbows. I think this might work really nice. So that's kind of a nice product. I didn't even know this existed. So I think this is a fairly new product to their line. All of the products were new things that they had sent over. So newer launches, which is cool. The only thing I think it did exist was this mascara. This is the Olive Flutter Volumizing 
mascara. So this is what the mascara looks like. I have tried this before. I think in that video that I mentioned where I'm trying the tint um, and some other lip products from them, they had actually sent this as well. I got it, I believe, though, from Top Box that time. They actually sent this directly to me. Um, but I have tried this. If I remember correctly, this is more of like a natural mascara. Like, there's not a lot of like volumizing, to be honest, or length with this one. It's okay. It does the job. Um, I do think it was pretty like smudge proof on me. Maybe not like completely, but it, it didn't like fall down on my like eyes throughout the day or flake off or anything. It just was kind of like not a mascara that I wear on its own because I like volumizing and lengthening. I need both for my lashes. So for me, this was just like an okay product, but I mean, I don't mind having another mascara. I might actually keep this and put it in a giveaway uh, because I do think there are people that would like this. It's just not necessarily something for me. Okay, guys, so that is everything I got in my little Burt's Bees box that they sent over. Thank you so much to Burt's Bees for sending this stuff over and for gifting me some cool products. I was super excited to receive it. I don't get a lot from many brands, so to have them send that over is pretty amazing. So thank you to them. I am enjoying most of the products, like I said. I give you my honest opinion on all of them. Um, if you want to see videos, of course, of me like swatching more or anything on my lips with the products or trying some of the other products, just let me know and I can incorporate it into a video. Um, but yeah, like I said at the beginning, if you like the video, it does help me out if you give me a thumbs up or just comment something down below, any interaction I love. But yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!